हेलो एवरी वन टूडे आवर वीडियो इज क्वाइट डिफरेंट इट्स ओन फिगर ऑफ स्पीच इट्स एन इम्पोर्टेंट इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज सो वी मस्ट नो अबाउट इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू नो अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फिगर ऑफ स्पीच अ फिगर ऑफ स्पीच इज यूज इन अ लैंग्वेज टू प्रोड्यूस अ ग्रेटर इफेक्ट ऑन द रीडर्स और द लिसनर्स वेन वी यूज इट द ऑर्डनरी आइडियाज बिकम एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डनरीज और it also beautifies the language it is a deviation from the ordinary use of words with the view to increase their effect the main figures of speech are simile metaphor personification apostrophe oxymoron onomatopoeia hyperbole alliteration antithesis and many more but in this video we discuss only five figure of speech other will be discussed in the next videos so watch and listen every video let's begin with our first figure of speech it's simile when there is a comparison of at least one common point between two objects the figure of speech is called simile it is introduced by such words as like as as so as etc however a comparison of two things of the same kind cannot be called a simile for instance she is as beautiful as a rose here as word is simile second example is her words are sweet like honey here like word is example of simile our next figure of speech is metaphor metaphor is a figure of speech in which two things are treated as one while comparing them the words like as like so etc are not used in metaphor for instance life is not a bed of roses here like word is not used for comparison second example is he is the vulture of the state next figure of speech is personification a personification is a figure of speech in which lifeless objects or abstract ideas are spoken of as having life and mind for instance experience is the best teacher second one is time and tide waits for none our next figure of speech is apostrophe it means an apostrophe is a figure of speech in which we address to the dead to the absent or to a personified objects or idea for example break 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 on the cold gray stones o oh, see second example is o oh, cuckoo shall i call the bird or but a wandering wise next figure of speech is oxymoron oxymoron is a combination of two words of opposite meaning in one sentence it means two opposite words but having different meaning in one sentence for instance the boy is regularly irregular two words are there regularly and irregular both are opposite words in one sentence second example is he led a life of active idleness active and idleness both are opposite words in one sentence so these are the main five figure of speech hope you understand it thank you for listening students